In this post, we will see how to implement a workflow using AEM. As the name suggests, a workflow represents a step-by-step -step process to accomplish a common task. For example, author creates the content, then the content goes to an editor for approval. After the approval, the content can be published. As usual, we will see a simple implementation. After executing the workflow, we will log the name of the page from where the workflow is executed into the custom log. I know it is very simple, but it will give you an idea of how executing a workflow can kick off a method in a bundle. Create a workflow implementation class in the package that you have already created. In the class, implement the workflow process interface. Override the execute method that has three that takes three parameters workflow item, workflow session, and metadata mapping. Use a workflow data object to get the data. <coughs> get the payload from the uh, from the data that you obtained using the get payload method. This will return uh the name of the page from where the workflow is executed and log it into the custom log that we have already created now deploy the bundle to the container now let us create a workflow go to the workflow console Select new, enter a name. I will enter AM company. Click OK. Uh, double click the AM company that got created. Go to workflow, select a process step. drag and drop this step to uh, to the workflow that we have created double click it go to process tab from the drop down list select AEM workflow process that's the property of the component that you have just created select handler advance Selecting this advances the workflow to the next step automatically without executing any additional steps. Select OK. Now let us ex execute the workflow. Open the EM company page that we have already created. In the sidekick, go to the workflow tab. Select EM company from the drop down list. Select start workflow. Now in step one, mark is complete. Workflow is completely executed now. Now open the AM company log, the custom log that we have already created. You can see those two entries. Basically, it is written the path of the uh, HTML page from where uh, we have executed the workflow. I know that it's pretty simple, but it, it gives you uh, an idea of how executing a workflow can uh, trigger a method uh, that is present in a bundle. That's about the session. It was pretty simple, and uh, I hope it was it was informative. See you people soon.